today I tested the Jones Frontier 159. It's a really aggressive all mountain board. First off, I just want to say that I'm not sponsored by any brand, so this is a totally unbiased review. So this thing is meant to go fast. It performs really, really well at speed, and really you can only get it to turn well once you're at speed. So this thing has great edge hold. It's built to be a really, really good carvers at hard speed, and it truly performs like that. The Jones Frontier is really, really stable. It has tons and tons of pop, and it's really, really damp. You can't really feel much going over it. You definitely don't feel a lot of underfoot chatter, but with how stiff this board is, it's pretty hard to get it to butter. It's pretty good at riding switch. Um, with how stiff it is, it might throw a lot of people off if they're not that good, but you can definitely get, do it. It's really good for really steep, fast stuff on the resort, off the resort, hucking cliffs, heli boarding, anything like that. It's gonna be really good. So the Jones Frontier is not gonna be a good um, park board or pipe board. You're not gonna wanna take it off rails and probably won't wanna take it off many jumps. So I would recommend this board to an advanced rider who's looking for something that's gonna be able to handle their aggressive style. Somebody who really wants to go fast, maybe go out of, out of bounds in the back country and really take on some steep slope. Not recommend the Jones Frontier to any kind of beginner. This board would be a lot of really hard for them to handle and make it really difficult for them to learn on. So as we know, there's different snowboards for different people. So if you'd like to chat about this one, go to my curated profile and send me a message. Any of you guys have ridden the Jones Frontier? Let me know in the comments what you think.